All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. Today, we're going to do a video. We're going to compare directly uh, LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan's EZA to the tech LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Now, I, I am positive that, like, tech Gohan at his max is, like, way shitting on this int Gohan. But I'm thinking going into this that this Gohan is going to look superior for most of it. Until we get to the... Like, once the Tech Gohan busts out his active skill and stuff like that, like, Int Gohan is just, like, not within, you know, 60 tiers of the Tech Gohan, right? Um, so let's go ahead and see how they're going to look. I'm going to try and use them on, like, the exact same teams. The only thing about this, right, is one... The Tech Gohan got shafted a bit and then he's shattering the limit and he doesn't have shocking speed, right? They're also on slightly different teams, um, I wanted to avoid, like, Android slash Cell Saga and Movie Hero, but I can't, I have to run the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan on Movie Hero um, in order to show his best situation, right? But like, we're, we're going to do a run with Int Gohan right here first. This is Goku Family Team. I brought no attack support. I do have the Dokkan Fest Kid Gohan because he's great for either of them because both of them, all of them have Gaze of Respect, right? Um, he gives key and defense, but he's not giving any attack support, right? So we'll do this initial run on Goku family with both units. I'll probably try and head into like a super battle road stage. We'll, we'll try and look at a bunch of different stuff. All right. So we're going to be able to get six orbs. Um, now GT kid Goku. I mean, there's uh, dude, it's like uh, using Gohan for a full day. It's like, yeah, dude, GT Goku, GT Vegeta, I think are definitely better than, um, easy Gohan. I don't, I don't know that I'd even argue it's close. Um, cause like on top of like being able to like out damage Gohan and have similar defense like you know Goku is straight up creating rainbow orbs as well which is just a godly ability um all right so right here with AGL Gohan we have five links active so this is turn one five links his defense I think is gonna be like the 180 190 territory I believe let's go ahead and see what he does right here uh what, what do we get six orbs six orbs all right and Gohan gets up to four million I mean again that's not that's, that is not like, whoa! That's, that's, I mean, that's pretty bad. I, on the tier of unit that Int Gohan is, like, summonable LREZA, and then just comparing, like, what, uh, like, Broly is capable of doing, it just does leave a bad taste in your mouth, right? Because Broly, I believe, is also going to be quite a bit better defensively, isn't he? Because he's getting defense on every super attack. He's at least double supering. Um, so it's like, Broly is definitely, like, what, like, Dude, eons better than this Gohan, I would say. Yeah, dude, look at GT Goku right there. <laughs> like, it's not even close. I mean, he got, what, three more orbs than Gohan? But still, three orbs was equivalent to, like, three million extra damage. Uh, I think um, Gohan was a little bit better defensively right there. But Goku, on top of creating rainbow orbs and just doing way more damage. Ah, damn it. I think, I think this run is done. I want to... More than one attack with Gohan. Of course, a lot of times these videos can be annoying as hell to make because it's like you you go in and it's like okay slot seven cool all right oh we're instantly done. Um, what did we, we had Int Gohan along with uh, EGL Gohan? I guess I think this turn is probably done. Um, I, I'll immediately hop right back in. I'm probably just gonna come back into the same events. Um. We're going to do the same exact team. I'm just going to swap Int Gohan for the Tech Gohan. Actually, I guess I could probably just run them together, right? Because I think the last time I did one of these videos was before the same name update. I could just run them together on the same team now. There's nothing preventing me from doing that. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll, I'll hop right back in um, and I'll just replace, like, UI Goku right here or something like that. Because, like, UI Goku is... is the One thing I would say about the two Gohans versus each other... Is that all these major units you want to use, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the UI Gokus and stuff like that, they're all fierce battle units, which Int Gohan is. But, I mean, we'll see if that really just fierce battle is going to make up the difference. Maybe Attack Gohan will hit harder. I'm just going to hop right back in with the same team. But I think I'm going to take off UI Goku and just put Tech Gohan on there. Let's run both of them at the same time. That, that, that That's a better way to do this. All right, so here we are, turn one. Um, let's see what Gohan's defense is. 90k. So, yeah. Um, well, he gets... Okay, so Gohan, right, is getting defense at the start of turn. He gets 7% defense per orb, right? And then he's getting 30% defense with every super attack. So, 
it's looking to me like the majority of the time in Gohan is going to have superior defense. Uh, as far as links go, we should be... Well, okay. You know, one thing, though, is that this Gohan does have all in the family. That does matter quite a bit. Um, all in the family is a very, very, very common link. That, I mean, if we just quickly take a look at right here, um, all in the family, I mean, many top tier, like, you know, sort of like Goku family units that you're gonna rock have this all in the family link, right? So, okay, like for this kid Gohan, who we're definitely running, you know, tech ultimate Gohan, of course, you've got a lot of very good units in here with all in the family, again, that you would probably run. So on a turn with all in the family, maybe this tech Gohan would get better defensively. Okay, this is six orbs. This is a... This is the same exact turn that we just had with Int Goku. That's good. Uh, 114k defense. Yeah, Int, Int Gohan is superior defensively. I think if, if Tech Gohan double supers, he would be better defensively. Um, but, like, I mean, Gohan could double super too. 5.15. Oh, actually, his damage is higher. That's higher, isn't it? That's quite a bit higher. Hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, no. No. My poor, my poor Int Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. No, no, oh, no. All right, let's, um, hmm, how am I going to do this next turn? Because we're going to end up on the same rotation. Okay, I, I guess I'll, we'll just, we'll just move forward like this. I really want to get this Dokkan Fest Kid Gohan with them side by side. Um, because again, like he's, he, I think he's going to have, what, Saiyan Warrior Race, um, Gaze of Respect, and Prepared for Battle with both. Um, but he's also going to have... Wait, wait, does Kid Gohan... Does Dokkan Fest Kid Gohan have Prepare for Battle? He doesn't. Okay. But, um, he is going to have All in the Family with the tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Which, along with the defensive support he gives, that's major. And, like, running those two units together is something I would do, right? The tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan and that AGL Dokkan Fest Kid Gohan. To me, like, when I'm running, like, any event in the game and I could run that AGL Dokkan Fest Gohan, I am. Like, you know, his damage is mid, but his defense is so strong. And then giving all allies key and defense, linking up well with a lot of these powerful units. Like, I absolutely am running him. Okay, um, here's what we're going to do right here. I think I'm going to give both of them two orbs. I think that's a good way to go about, uh, well, can I give both of them two orbs? Yeah. Okay, so we'll give Gohan... That's two orbs for you. And then this is two orbs for him. All right, so let, let's see. Let's see. Like, th this is a... I mean, this is not exactly the greatest turn ever. Two million. That sucks. That's... Re <laughs> that's really bad. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling faint. <laughs> Oh, what did they do to him? All right, what does the Tech Gohan do? Remember, he... Oh, he does give himself... Okay, he's a little bit lower. Remember that Tech Gohan does give himself 30% attack on his 12 key. 30% attack and defense on 12 key. Um, we haven't seen it yet, but Tech Gohan does have a medium chance of launching an additional super attack as well, right? So he could launch three super attacks, whereas Int Gohan has only got... Um, two at max in his back pocket, right? Like, that's very important to mention. Uh, STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku is just a god. Like, you know, he he just... STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku is my pick for best easy ATUR, and he just... I mean, every single Saiyan team, you're just running him. He's just so good. Uh, there's... Yeah, dude. GT Goku. Is, like, that's... Uh, you know, I, I feel like I, I think I think in Super Saiyan 2 Gohan would be fine if he was also a Rainbow Orb Changer. Again, I know everyone like oh I'm roll, rolling my eyes at you, but it's like yeah, I mean y'all all agree with that. I'm gonna just okay okay. I'm gonna do Orb Changing on this turn without support. Um, I would like to get the same amount of orbs I think with Tech Gohan though. Let's see both them no support uh, with the same amount of orbs. What are we gonna get right here? 15 orbs okay um so i'm gonna cut and we're gonna come back with tech super saiyan 2 gohan getting this same turn right where he's got uh 15 orbs see the damage level at that point 
With 15 orbs, I think Ted Gohan should be superior defensively to Super Saiyan 2 Go the, the Int one, I think. He should be, because he's getting the 7% defense per orb. Seems like... I, I think, like, like the closer you are to their minimum, I think Int Gohan is better. But, like, the better situations you're doing over and over, I think Tech Gohan is going to start to look superior. The better the situation is for these units. I very well might end this video saying Tech Gohan is better. It's, it's I'm trending in that direction already. All right, let's, uh, again, I'm going to cut. We'll do the same rotation for Tech Gohan. Linked up with AGL Gohan, 15 orbs. All right, so I, I just want to get this turn in here. This is a couple of orbs shy. Uh, remember, we got 15 with Int Gohan. There's only going to be 12 for Tech Gohan. But uh, here's what I'm curious on. Okay, so... Remember, Int Gohan, like, his start of turn defense is basically the same number as that. Like, the 90k on this situation, it's the same thing, basically. Um, and then he gets 58% defense on Super, and then another 30% defense on Super. So, I think he should be in, like, the, you know, 175 to 200k range. But, here's the thing. I think, like, even Tech Gohan with the 12 orbs, what are we jumping up to now? So, he's at 138k. Uh, and he'd get 30% defense, which... Uh, I mean, he, he's going to need double supers. Uh, Int Gohan is superior defensively, it seems like, unless Tech Gohan is really taking advantage of the fact that he could super more. Um, I'm thinking, for the most part, Int Gohan is probably going to be superior defensively. But once we start getting an all-in-the-family unit next to this Tech Gohan, he might be looking a little bit better. So remember, this isn't completely fair, but I mean, I, I wanted to get this turn in here. Remember, this is only 12 orbs for Tech Gohan. Uh, Int Gohan at 15. What did Int Gohan have with the 15? It was um, 8 million, right? 7.99, I believe. All right, let me let me see what Tech Gohan gets right here. What I really want to see is Tech Gohan doing like the triple super attack. That 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 that's 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 the thing that's very relevant. Because remember, Int Gohan at his best can only double super, whereas Tech Gohan can triple super, right? And once he triple supers. I think his defense should comfortably be better than Int Gohan's, but he does have to, I think, triple super really to be comfortably better. All right, so 6.37. I, I think they were about the same level of damage. Again, the extra three orbs, would that have taken him to 8 million? Maybe. Um, okay, give me at least one. No, he only does one. Okay. Uh, all right, all right. So, so far, again, it's not really... I, don't, I wouldn't say we've really learned too much besides at their minimum Int Gohan is a little bit better defensively. Um, I guess let, let's just go to like a, a big on big daddy hybrid Saiyan team now um, and really see what's going to happen once we start getting like a ridiculous amount of supports and stuff like that. I don't know. I guess I'll just let this turn play out right here. Int Gohan getting what? What do you have? Five orbs right here with GT Goku. The AGL Dokkan Fest Gohan, of course, is giving these uh, defensive support and the key. Um, on a turn like this, this is where Int Gohan is like, at, like he's really able to fly past the 200k defensive stat once he starts getting any type of defensive support, especially because he gets that defensive buff on super attack, right? So if you're rocking um, GT Goten and Trunks, AGL Dokkan Fest Kid Gohan, who I think is basically a must run with these characters, um, like any character like that, I do think uh, you're going to see the Int Gohan comfortably being better defensively than Tech Gohan. Let's keep going. Though. Let's go to a, a hybrid Saiyan team, like, really, like, decked out with the support. Again, AGL Gohan, Trunks and Goten, all that type of shit. You know, I would love in these videos, like, uh, if Dokkan could, like, throw me a bone and not just do this bullshit, like, turn one. Thanks. That's really good. Uh, all right, so here's support. Um... So again, on this turn, I think Int Gohan is going to be way better defensively because that defense he gets a defensive buff on Super Attack with a powerful support type unit like this. Again, I'm thinking Int Gohan's defense is going to be comfortably better. Even if Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan gets a bunch of orbs right here, I, I don't think that's going to matter too much. I would like them to get similar orbs, but that's just not... I don't think that's realistic right here. Would I get four for him? Uh, maybe if I do this... And then, yeah, four. Okay, okay. Well, we're going to get the same number right here. Um, again, his defense, remember, he gets 7% defense per orb. So he's going to jump ahead of Int Gohan's defense initially right there at the start. But by the time uh, Int Gohan's super attack goes off, I think his defense is going to be a lot better. All right, so there's that. Uh, let's see what Tech Gohan's super attack is. So far, like, I, we, I keep getting this bullshit, like, jumping in, horrible rotations, 
Like, I would like, like, one Gohan to be on one rotation and the other Gohan to be in the other rotation. <laughs> <sighs> of course. All right. Thank you, Chunks and Goten. But yeah, um, that's the thing, too, with running these Gohans, is that, like, when you're running a lot of these teams, like, guess what? You're definitely going to want to be, like, throwing all of these units on there. This Hybrid Saiyan support Trunks, um, GT, Trunks, and Goten. Like, you definitely want to be running these characters, for sure. Um, because, like, it, GT, Legendary, Goku event, God event, Extreme Super Battle Road, it doesn't matter. They're great everywhere, right? So it, it just it's just gonna make the team more cohesive. So like I, I am loving the new era support type units that Dokkan is dropping. I really hope they continue to just have banner units be these support type units, free to play units be these support type units. It's just really gonna make the entire game a lot more smooth, right? Because like Garlic Jr. is very helpful for like cooler and shit like that, right? Like, you know, those units are just gonna help the entire game. So I would like to see a lot more of them coming. All right, this is a really strong rotation for Int Gohan right here. Um, yeah, 171k defense right there is very high. Um, we're also going to get 10 orbs. So I, I do want to try and emulate this same rotation for Tech Gohan. Um, he's going to have a good turn. Like, next turn will be good for Tech Gohan, but he's... Well, no, actually, it's going to be very similar. He should, we can't count his defense, right? Because Gohan is getting double defensive support. But he's only getting one unit of offensive support. So if I could get 10 orbs for Tech Gohan, it's, it's going to be like the same thing. So there's 6 million. All right, so let's see what Tech Gohan gets up to. Uh, again, I'm going to try and aim for getting him 10 orbs, but we'll, we'll see um, how doable this is going to be. All right, now here, this is our first... There's That's seven, okay. Th th this is a good turn. Because this is going to allow us to get all in the family active. 142, huh? With 10. Nah, I still think Int Gohan's defense will be higher. Even with all in the family active and a defensive support unit around. I I, I do think so. Um, it's hard to say. Um, What do we got right here? So, I could change... I want 10. Let me see if I could get 10 orbs. Okay, 7. Okay, let me do this. Of course, like, there's a billion rainbow orbs, right? Like, of course. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's 11. That's good. Uh, close enough. 11. Um, okay, so I, I, right here. Let, let's just give him the 11 orbs, right? Let me see what his defense is without All in the Family and then with All in the Family. Ooh, 164. Then with All in the Family... Ooh, okay, 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 okay. So, now, he's going to get 30% defense on super attack, which would be, like, what? Like, 65k or something like that? Defense? Is that not... No, I still think, in, like, the turn la, like the turn we had last time with Int Gohan, I still think his defense was higher um, after he super attacks, because... That 58% defense on super, like, with the support tech buff is really kicking in hard. And then, remember, they both are getting the 30% on super attack. You know, you know what I'm more so coming to the conclusion I'm thinking here? Is that they're just the same goddamn unit. <laughs> they're just, they're just the same unit, but tech Gohan has a higher ceiling is what I'm getting from this video so far. That's it. They're just, the, they're just like the same unit. But Tech Gohan has a higher ceiling if you can get the active skill off. And like if he triple supers or something like that, right? I, I mean, I can't ever... Like, can I buy a double super Gohan? Could, you know? Can I enter in my credit card number and you can actually give us like a double or triple super? How about that? Is that okay, Tech Gohan? All right. Um, hmm. I, I, let me... I kind of want to go into like... A super battle road type. Let's go into like um, extreme super battle road, but it's like I don't know. I feel like just at this point, it they're just actually the same unit. Like it, it really is. I probably would say Tech Gohan is better, just because again his ceiling is higher. But like I think for most of the time, they're going to look almost exactly the same. Um, I still do think this this Tech Gohan though. Like I, I thought he's a borderline top ten unit, like top fifteen unit. So, I mean, I, I don't know that I'm really still thinking that much differently of Int Gohan. He's still in that same range, but 
I, I don't, I would not say like, oh, Int Gohan is way better than Tech Gohan. It's not even close. Like, no, they, they just are outright looking like the same goddamn unit to me. Um, all right, I guess I'm, I'm just going to get this attack set in here, whatever. This is eight orbs with the kid Gohan. Defensively, 144k. Again, because he's getting 58% plus a 30%. Like, they're either around the same defense, or in Gohan is a little bit higher, I think. Um, the only problem... I, I think Tech Gohan would have a much better case. So, he has a medium chance of launching an additional super attack, right? That That's, that's what's written in his passive. If it was a guaranteed additional that had a medium chance of being a super, that would help Go the Tech Gohan a lot more. Because then you would be activating your hidden potential system additional much more often, right? Because um, you'd always be doing the additional, and then it could be a, another super. Um, but because of the fact that it's just like the guaranteed additional super, it means you're going to activate that much less frequently, and thus you're going to see the uh, hidden potential system additional also much less frequently. Again, at this point, I'm thinking that they're almost the same damn unit. Like, I was going to go into like Super Battle Road and all this stuff, but I don't even know if it's really necessary. Like, I feel like I'm going to jump over to the movie hero team. We might max out Tech Super Saiyan 2 Go. Let's just do that right now. So, Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, right? I, 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 here, I guess we'll... Why don't, why don't I just show it on screen? How about that? Okay, so Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, right? Like, like these two, they're doing very similar stuff. They're on a lot of similar teams. It's still ridiculous. This guy's not on the Kamehameha team, by the way. Like, even in the Dragon Ball Battle Hour, they were showing the stupid... Like, the 100 Kamehamehas from all the Dragon Ball games. And this was included from Dokkan. But he's on the Kamehameha category. So stupid. So, when I say that Tech Gohan's ceiling is just, like, infinitely higher than Int Gohan, it's because of this. And then it's also because of this right here. But this is not something you're almost ever going to get. Now, here's the thing. I think in about a week's time... We're going to get a fusing Gogeta unit that's going to lead movie heroes, right? Which, you know, it, it's just, yeah, category ally whose name includes Goku. So if they drop Go Goku and Vegeta fusing into Gogeta as the leader of this team that will probably have prepare for battle and shocking speed, running this Gohan on that movie hero team, this being very easy to then activate, I, like at that point, like this Gohan is going to get a lot better. Like, that theoretical Goku and Vegeta fusing in a Gogeta unit as a movie hero leader changes a lot of things. And it makes this Gohan, again, way better. And this gets a little bit more realistic. There's still a lot of good movie hero Gokus. But when the actual leader of the damn team is activating Gohan's conditions, that's going to be game-changing for him, right? So, he gets the additional 59% attack. Guaranteed crit if your HP is 58% or less with Goku. Um... This is just Goku on the team, by the way. And then this is also just Goku on the team. That's really good that it's only just on the team. So I guess I'm just going to hop into like the GT Legendary Goku event. And let's activate this right now and see how Gohan looks with this activated. All right, guys. So we're rocking the Hybrid Saiyan slash Savior team. Um, so this is actually pretty good, right? So Gohan... He just needs a movie hero category ally whose name has Goku in it. Well, this new unit that's on Savior would count. This LR Goku and Piccolo um, would be enough to activate Gohan's active skill and ability, right? So um, as they continue sort of buffing the movie hero team, right, which I think is going to happen a lot continuously leading up to the 2022 Dragon Ball Super movie, uh, this tech Gohan really could get better if that active skill and like mega powerful attack he's got if that can become like a more consistent thing he's gonna be a lot damn better right and again you don't even have to have him um on the same turn it's just on the team right so like for like a long event this would work well because the goku and piccolo um they suck turn one but like once you get deep into the event they're pretty damn good right so like that would be good here what are we rocking right here 156k. I really would love if, like, Tech Gohan, one of these turns would, you know, I don't know, bust out a triple super attack for us. How about that? Right? Like, that's it's one of the main things people go like, oh, Tech Gohan is better. He triple super. It's like, yeah, he, I mean, he does. Sometimes. Like, never for me. <laughs> Every once in a hundred years, he does. <laughs> this bastard. All right. Uh, I'm going to skip way ahead again. The main thing I want to do here is I want to get the, his big attack set, right? 
Um, you know, we're able to do this on, like, you know, the team with, like, a whole bunch of support and stuff like that. Like, this is a turn that Int Gohan cannot emulate. Um, also, by the way, as you guys saw, um, that Goku and Piccolo activates the unit super for this Kid Gohan right here. So, we really are able to get a pretty dirty team. The only issue with the way I have this team built is that all this support we have on the team is not really affecting Goku and Piccolo, right? Because, like, the Trunks is, like, Hybrid Saiyan support. Then the GT Trunks and Goten are um, uh, Goku family and Vegeta family. And, you know, Goku and Piccolo are not on any of those three category teams, right? All right, guys. I don't know. While I'm here, I, I think I'm probably just going to bust out um, a big monster attack stat for our boy Gohan. Uh, one thing I want to do is I want to get Gohan's active skill um, uh, deep into an event. And I want to, like, either orb change or have, like, B pan or something like that. The problem is that nowadays, right... Like, the very difficult events, like the GT Goku event, you've only got two item spots. So, it's actually kind of harder to, like, orb change like this. So this will be 21 orbs. What is... Okay, okay. So, right here, for sure, I think already this turn right here is something Int Gohan will not be able to match. Yeah. So, I, I think, like, once Tech Gohan is at, like, 230k defense, start a turn like that, I... I'm, well, I don't know. It's just he... The thing is, with the Tech Gohan, right? Again, I think that they basically are going to look the same almost all the time until... Oh, no. Are we going to... 90, 80, 70? No, this is not going to activate his passive. Uh... Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Remember that uh, Tech Gohan's passive can activate mid-turn. This is not going to activate it right here, so we don't have to worry about that. Um... Because I want to get his active skill and his passive active on the same turn, right? Now, remember that this Trunks, by the way, um, you know, his nice combo works with either of the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. So, there's 9.61. Dude, Int Gohan would have hit harder on that turn, for sure. Like, that exact turn, 20 orbs with that much support, I'm pretty sure Int Gohan is hitting harder right there. It's just the, like... The, the argument for Tech Gohan is on the turn where you get the triple super attack or when you get the active skill. Outside of that, they are basically the same thing. It, it, but it's like, that. how often do you get the triple super attack? It's not often. How often do you get the active skill? It's not often, right? It's like Tech Gohan has a higher ceiling. Like, I feel like you could say he's better because his ceiling is higher, but it's not like 99% of the time, they're just the same shit. They're the same shit. Like, you're not even really seeing them be different. Um, and I, I literally cannot even fall... Like, this team is too strong. Like, I can't even fall under 58% HP with this team. I can't. Like, I need Goku and Piccolo to get super attacked, like, right away. Before they attack. Um, Alright. Um, oh, boy. I would, like... I don't know. I, I just want to get this active skill. Th this is why I hate doing these comparison videos. Because I'm already at an hour of recording time right here right like doing all this it just takes su it's such a nuisance and then like gohan uh five turns 58 percent hp they did not have to restrict it that much i still hate that uh okay so i guess i guess i'll just go to the gt legendary goku event it'll be much easier to activate this shit over there uh i guess is what we'll do all right guys uh it's very difficult to get this turn um where you have both Gohan's passive and his active skill available to you. Because remember, his his passive can activate mid-turn. So, um, okay. Let's go ahead and get Gohan's active skill right here. We're only going to be able to get like seven orbs or so. So I might try and do another stage um, where we get Gohan more orbs. Um, but it's actually, it's, it's just difficult to take damage like on the hybrid Saiyan team at all. So here, let's go ahead and pop this. So, now Gohan gets huge extra damage. Um, the only problem is, like, getting... I'm going to be able to only get, like, seven orbs or so 
I think, on this turn. I mean, it's still going to be better than nothing, but um, I really would like to see Gohan get a lot more damage here. So, again, I'll probably try and do one more of these turns. Because, like, this is the turn. Int Gohan can't match this right here, right? Like, this uh, this turn we're going to get here. So, what is he sitting at right here? He's at 142k. All right, that's going to jump. But this is going to be a lot. I mean, I don't know, maybe 15 million or so. Maybe higher. Remember, we're getting a lot of support on this rotation, too. Right? Like, like what's difficult about setting this up is getting a good rotation where we have a lot of support. Right? Having both the active skill and the passive, you know, available. Um, and even just taking damage to fall below. If only this shitty active skill didn't have to deal with HP on the hybrid Saiyan team. That's invincible. It's very annoying. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and see how much damage we get from Gohan here. Again, I'll probably try one more time. Um... Because, like, if we could get, like, 20 orbs, like, Gohan's, like, you know, 25 million plus or something. Only 10? Yeah, see, like, okay, Int Gohan can break that. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. I, well, God damn it. Okay, well, I really have to jump in to, like, the OG LGE. I gotta get, like, some unit who is, like, a bitch that will just get absolutely crushed. Um, and then we'll try it. All right, let, let, let's go one more. Because, go, do Gohan, this tech Gohan, he could triple that attack set like all right let's, ah <laughs> such a pain i hate i hate these type of active skills so much and this is the thing people are gonna go <laughs> because of this turn he's better than the the int one <laughs> uh no dude it takes years <laughs> of going through events to get this damn shit once all right, guys, so we have reached this rotation right here. Um, I don't have double support, unfortunately, but we will be able to get a few links for our boy Gohan. Um, let's go ahead and use Gohan's active skill. We'll use B-Pan's active skill, um, and then we'll do the orb changing. We should be able to get a, a, at least, you know, 18 to, like, 22 orbs or something like that um, in this range and see what Gohan is going to do. This should be way better than the 10 million, right? Once we bust out LRB Pan, you know, her ridiculous active skill, um, we're in the OG legendary Goku event, so I can actually, like, fully rainbow orb change. Um, now, again, dude, it's it's not that easy to just get these rotations and shit like that. Now, Gohan is going to insta-kill this Goku. If Goku had 70 more health bars, theoretically, Gohan could triple super and just, like, he could put down like, an attack stat that, like, nearly no other unit could, like, could match, right? Like, I, I mean, who, who, uh, okay, okay, this Gohan triple supering on this turn, who could match that? I feel like, like, that's stronger than, like, what Spirit Bomb Goku is able to do, the SCR Blue Cow can Goku, like, it, it's just, it's a crazy turn. Oh, this is the entire field. Okay. <laughs> sure. All right, what is he at? All right, 238k. Damn, even the entire field... I feel like his defense is actually comparable to Int Gohan, right? Int Gohan, I would say, is better defensively. The, the whole thing boils down to Int Gohan is going to be better unless Tech Gohan does more attacks than him, which, you know, will happen occasionally, but that's not, like, a guaranteed thing. Um, okay, let's go ahead and let this turn go off. I mean, this has got to be 20 mil, right? I could have had, like, you know, hybrid trunks right here or something like that, but, I mean, this, this will be fun. Uh, to see how much damage we are going to get. Actually, is Gohan's passive... Is it not going to be active right here? It's not, is it? Because he healed over... Oh, God, I, 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 I hate this turn. I think his passive is not active right here, right? So because I used tech orbs, we just healed all that back up. Our passive is actually not active. I'm going to keep this in. Yeah, 15... That's... Oh, dude, this is like such a pain in the ass. Okay. So, I'm going to do this exact same turn. <laughs> uh, except we're going to try and get triple support. And this time, I guess I'll orb change and land on, like, in orbs. Because what happened is we got the active skill right there, but not the passive part of Gohan because our health was at full. So, we could have gotten another 59% attack and the guaranteed crit. The guaranteed crit is pretty strong, too. Um, so, okay. I guess, I mean, you know, this is just like a, a five-hour recording session or something. I. Uh, Alright, so we got Gohan's active skill. We have B Pan's active skill right here. Um, Gohan is going to get a significant attack buff uh, from all this. It is only one support right here, but that will be okay. 
So, all right, let's just go ahead and get to all of the orb. Oh, whoops, this way. Let's get all of the orb changing in right here. Um, again, with B Pan's active skill, Gohan's active skill, and then also um, Gohan's passive ability. I mean, this will be 20 million plus, right? Which, again, I don't. Like, in LR, Gohan is not going to be matching. Oh, God damn it! Now I can only get 18 orbs. Th dude, this shit is like so. Ugh. Oh, Ugh. Oh. I. They made this so annoying to do. Like, it's just so... It's such a little prick of a rotation to do. It's so annoying. All right, anyway. Okay, so I would like God Goku to super attack right here. I mean, we didn't gain health, but still. It's just nerve-wracking. Like, you don't... You guys don't... Like, this actually takes hours. Like, because it's just like... It's so finicky to set this situation up. Like, it's just so ridiculous. Okay. 17.9 again he could do even better because we could get a couple of more orbs we could get support but it's like i don't know how interested i am at just continuing to do this over and over and over again until we actually like get like good rng with this it's just it's frustrating as hell um all right i don't know this video has just become a huge uh mess whatever i'm gonna just put up a, a compilation of the two gohans doing shit at this point i don't even care random situations Random attack stats, active skills, whatever. We're just we're just dicking around at this point. I've actually lost my mind trying to get that good turn with the Tech Gohan. All right, so there he is, five million with only fierce battle, no support. Uh, again, I, I don't know. I, I guess I'm just gonna toss him on random teams, random attack stats all over the place. Y'all can make your own judgments. To me, it looks like their performance again is pretty damn similar. Uh, the one time Tech Gohan, like again, like maxed out. When he's getting multiple super attacks. Remember, we saw like that 18 million attacks out of his active skill and stuff like that. But he could potentially like triple super on that turn as well, right? Whereas Int Gohan could only double super. So like you do want to factor that stuff in. But most of the time, I think the units have a very similar level of performance, right? It, it's just like, that's just as simple as it is. All right, so we'll we'll go ahead and get this right here. Uh, we will see what our boy Gohan can get for us on this turn. I'm gonna just go ahead and grab those, get those rainbow orbs out of here. Uh, another one came in, but that's all right. All right, so let's just create like a whole bunch of orbs and shit. Um, I would like to emulate this sort of same turn because we did this with the te with um, the tech Gohan, but we only had one support. But he did have his active skill and stuff like that. So like, I'd, I'd like to do a little bit better with him. Cause see, this is we'll be able to get 22, all but one orb right there, um, and then we'll go ahead and pop B Pan's active skill. Again, we'll right after this, we'll go back to Tech Gohan. We'll get a couple attack stats with him, and I'll probably like emulate this sort of same situation, right? With like some big support with him, like you know, 21 or 22 orbs, something like that. B Pan's active skill. Um, again, we're we're just trying to see. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I guess as many sort of like random situations between the two. Because, again, they're looking pretty similar to me. Thirteen point six, right there, right? So see that? There you go. Like the difference with Tech Gohan popping his active skill, like it shoots his damage way above that. But I'm curious. Let me see what Tech Gohan does with basically like that same similar type of situation right there. All right, so here we basically have the same rotation um, that we got with uh, Int uh, Gohan, right? He was, what was it, like 13.6 or something like that? Um, okay, so let's go ahead and see what uh, Tech Gohan can get. Oh, damn it, I'm going to be like one orb shy, huh? Because with Gohan, we got all but one. No, I think if I restart... That's it now. I don't want it. Well, 19 is basically the same damn thing. Uh, let me hold on. Let me just restart. Oh, no. Uh, I just want to get rid of these rainbow orbs right here. Here, Here's an instance where rainbow orbs actually can be a little bit of an annoyance, right? Like, if we just go ahead and get rid of these rainbow orbs right here. Because um, I, I really want to make it, like, fair situations, right? Like, that's why I'm trying to use a lot of the same similar units and stuff like that. Because, um, again, like, Trunks and Goten, GT, V-Pan... Uh, like the SCR hybrid saying trunks like these are characters you you would run if you've got them right it's like like those are some of the best units to run sort of as like the uh, complementary units of like uh, hybrid saiyans okay so this time with our boy TN what we're gonna do instead is I want to hit these rainbow orbs um, I do need Gohan in the middle though and of course that creates like 
10 goddamn rainbow orbs. Whatever. We're just going to go with whatever this gives us. Uh, uh it's, it's seriously like these. I, it looks like it's like, oh, this was so quick and fast and stuff. But like doing these types of videos actually just takes like 100 years. There's 20 orbs. 20 is, is good. That's like right there. Okay. So we're going to get Gohan with 20 orbs. Um, again, we have this 50% support. Again, Gohan's savior slash hybrid Saiyan team is just... It, it's such a crazy leader skill, right? And they just keep buffing it to hell. Um, all right, so let's see if Gohan will hit harder. Actually, his defense right here... Yeah. When he's got the 50% support, uh, TN... What links do we have? Because we have... Yeah, okay, okay. So once he's getting the big support all in the family and a huge amount of orbs now he's above in gohan in terms of defense I, th I think this turn gohan is it the tech gohan is better than in gohan like this exact sort of thing 50 percent support gohan lr and then lrb pan looks like tech gohan is better now remember no matter what tech gohan does on his first attack he could do it three times whereas in gohan can only do it twice um okay less um, one reason for that may be because uh, the 50% support Gohan links a little bit better with uh, the in LR Gohan could be it. And we, we were like one or two orbs off, right? Because I think with in Gohan, we got, what, 22? But you guys see what I'm saying? Like, it's like, like these numbers are so close. Like, it, it, there's not like a huge, like, jump in either of them. I mean, there's a couple of different arguments you can make, right? Because you could say like, oh, it's not impressive that in Gohan is matching a unit that came out six months ago. Or you could say, oh, it's really good that this LR that came out, you know, his original release date back in 2017 is now basically matching the, the level of a current day summonable LR. Um, let me know what you guys think. I think I probably will do another rotation or two um, with both of them. I mean, at this point, I might as well just max this out to like a 45 minute video where you just get like all these different rotations. I should look at different teams and stuff like that. I'm just trying to get a bunch of different stats and stuff in here to show you guys the performance of both of them. Because, like, I'm always accused of being biased, but I am literally just trying to present the, f the, the facts, the info right here. I'm trying to show what they do. All right, guys, so I compiled all the footage to this point and found out that the video is already 42 minutes long. It's just not possible for me to... Uh, talk for only a couple of seconds about Dokkan. I just end up going blah, 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 blah. Can't help it. My bad. Um, what I'm probably going to do here is I'm going to finish with just one more run with both Gohans uh, with a team basically fully built around them. Again, I, I feel as though the Savior slash Hybrid Saiyan team is one of the better teams in terms of many factors, like showcasing units, getting through long events, you know, getting through events without items. Uh, this team has got basically everything you need. Again, this Gohan, the tech one, has gotten a massive buff with the introduction of this Goku and Piccolo unit, um, which definitely can work on this team, right? I mean, obviously, this variant I have completely built for tech Gohan, um, but, like, you could definitely get a very solid build where this... Because, again, this Goku and Piccolo, typically, they're not that impressive turn one, but after that, they can start to look really good, right? Um, and they do activate all the conditions for tech Gohan to get all of his abilities... All right, so on this turn right here, uh, actually, let's do this right here. Th th this will be better because um, the AGL Gohan will be able to tank better. Although, dude, like, see, AGL Gohan is another massive buff for both of these Super Saiyan 2 Gohans, right? Like, it's like, dude, his defense is, like, good. Like, this is really good defense for this LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Oh, he's over 200k right there, right? Like, that's not bad. I... What, what's funny about this whole, like, Gohan versus Gohan thing is I have always loved this tech, uh, or tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, right? Like, I, I remember when uh, me, Sunblade, and Garesh did our list, right? I had him high up there. Uh, I don't know. I think following this video, I'm going to do a top 10 units in the game overall list. I, I think I do want to make one. Typically, I hate mixing. Let's see what, what Super Saiyan 2 Gohan does right here. Uh, and he gets up to a... 5.77. I mean, I, I do think that's good with no attack support and then, you know, the defensive stat that he's at. Could he get more? Okay, there we go. So so there's one more. Remember, Int Gohan can do two as well, but can he give us one more? Oh, he finished him off. Okay. But, okay, so with two super attacks, dude, his defense was like soaring like past like 350k, right? Um, and then if he triple supered, ha, 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 ha. 
you want to talk damage, defense, like that boy has got it all at that point, right? Um, okay, so we have 50% support TN as well. Again, I, I feel like the savior team is just massively powerful. Um, this TN, right, is going to be able to buff up Gohan a lot. Uh, Gohan's going to have like Shattering Limit and stuff like that. Um, all right, so on this next turn too, this is a unit I was not using at the start of this video. My sort of thoughts on support type units a lot now is I don't really give two shits about using support type units with a lot of these characters and a lot of these, even like Super Battle Road videos and stuff like that, if the units are good enough to participate in there by themselves, right? So like GT Trunks and Goten will dominate across all content in the game. So I, I'm very comfortable like using that. Like that's just an advantage of well, whatever character we're showcasing being on good teams, good categories, you know, having good links, shit like that, right? Now, we're about to link uh, Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan with this AGL World Tournament support Gohan, who, it, like, at this point, I mean, he sucks at this point, right? This this AGL Gohan. But they share 6 out of 7 uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan and this AGL Gohan. So he's definitely going to look a lot better here, but you just can't... Like, dude, this AGL Gohan is just, like, fodder at this point. Like, you can't, you can't bring him seriously into, like, difficult events like this and live to tell the tale, all right? Like, he, this Gohan's going to get us killed. Um, so, okay, okay, what are we looking at? 180k right there with all of these, plus the Gohan at the end as well. Um, only five, five, really? Okay, only five orbs we'll, we'll get right here. Um, what is he up to? 210 p.m. That's, whew, <coughs> that's pretty good. Um, that's a solid number right there. Because <laughs> he's getting defense on super. Right, like this guy, I've seen people downplay this guy. Like, nah, stop. 6.46, okay. But again, I feel like we're going to go into a run of a team I built fully around the Int Super Saiyan 2 Gohan right after that. And all of his numbers are going to look exactly the same. Like, they look exactly the same, dude. Like, like their defense is like the same. Their attack stats are ridiculously similar. They're borderline the same. Like, these units aren't, like, I, I very strongly disagree. Like, people are like, oh my god, the tech one is way better. It's like, bruh, like, our... What are you looking at? Like, <laughs> no, he's, there's no way. I, I don't think the tech one is way better. He's got a, okay. He has a substantially higher ceiling. Ain't no one in the world arguing that. But uh, like when you're using these units all the time, their performance is going to be basically the same level. Like, again, if I was, well, I'm going to do like a top 10 unit in the game list. Um, I don't think either of these Super Saiyan 2 Gohans are going to make it on the top 10 uh, units in the game list for me. Um, but, like, if I was actually, like, seriously doing a list, I might cheat and put both Gohans, like, in the same slot. And just say, like, Tech Gohan can look, a, in his best situation, looks a little bit better. Um, but they're pretty similar, like, throughout major, like, majority of events and stuff like that, right? Is probably what I'd do. Okay. Very strong rotation for Gohan right here. Um, we're gonna be able to get a lot of orbs as no. Thought we were gonna be able to get. Nah, it's not as many orbs as I would like. Um, the other thing I want to be wary of right here is if Gohan, like if if the unit in slot one takes too much damage, we're gonna activate Gohan's passive, which I don't know if I really want to do yet. I mean, we did. Let me, you know what, you know, yeah, let's just, let's just do that. Uh, well, I mean, we'll see. Maybe this AGL Gohan will get us killed in slot one. I mean, if it does, I mean, that, you know, makes the point that I was trying to make. Um, keep in mind, we're probably going to take significant damage to the point where Gohan's, uh, passive is going to activate. You know, once only on a turn, he's going to get the guaranteed crit and an extra 59% attack. That could activate mid-turn right here. This is a very strong rotation for him. We have a lot of support, six out of seven links active. If Gohan, like, if this first Gohan does fall below, yeah, which he's going to? Yeah, okay. So, Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, along with this number he's getting, he's getting the additional portion of his passive right here. And he's at 11. Yeah, that's, that's strong, dude. Without an active skill, that's good, right? Because, like, you know, in Super Saiyan 2 Gohan can hit numbers like that, too. Uh, when, like, B pans active skill on rotation and shit like that, right? That's just Gohan's power. Now, you know, we could do his active skill as well. I, I might as well just see if we can get one more turn and get the active skill. Um, yeah, I think we can. Yeah, let me... What's your defense? Ah, it's a lot. No. I, I was going to... 
I can't give him those same type orbs. We'll heal too much and we'll lose out on the passive for next turn. I'm going to do this. Okay. So we're going to go into this next turn um, and we're going to be able to activate uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan's active skill, right? I would say a majority of the time when you're going through events, this is probably what's going to happen with this Super Saiyan 2 Gohan where you will activate his passive and his active skill on separate turns. Right, I think it's going to be pretty uncommon to go into a turn, you know, for the first time under, uh, what is it, 58% HP for his passive, and you're also going to be there for your active skill, and you're going to tie them both together. I'd say that's going to be pretty uncommon, but what's more like, again, I have argued in the past that I think it's actually better this way, because rather than one gigaton turn where he's hitting like a 20 million attack stat, Instead, you're going to get, like, two turns where he's at, like, 12 or something like that, which I think is better. Because typically, like, you know, even this deep into the GT Legendary Goku event, Gohan is, like, one-shotting these phases, basically, right? And, like, both of the Super Saiyan 2 Gohans are going to be hitting, like, these same damage numbers. Well, um, not, the Int one is not hitting this level right here. He can't, he can't match that without B-Pan around, right? And the thing is, but the thing about this guy is we could then stack B-Pan on top of this, which we've already done at this point in this video, right? So, all right, again, this is going to be Gohan with six out of seven links active and his active skill. Um, I think his, his attack, it's going to be similar to what we saw last turn. I think, well, I don't have order changing items, no. Okay, I mean, that's an RIP right there. We're at least still getting seven orbs. Um, okay, what are we at? 173k defense, stuff like that, okay. Remember, AGL Gohan at this point is just absolutely dead fodder-ass weight and will get us killed. Um, even against this great of Goku, that AGL Gohan is just no bueno, man. Um, again, for this last part, I did want to use him because he, you know, 6 out of 7 links active for this tech Gohan. But that's not, like, okay. Like, <laughs> no way are you running him, right? Um, a lot of the other units, Trunks and Goten, SDR Hybrid Saiyan Trunks. 50% supports, I think, you get away with. Yeah, 10.9 right there. Although... Uh, the Int Kid Gohan is way better than Tech Tien. Because um, Gohan, I, I would argue, the nine-turn attack and offensive buff he gives himself is way more beneficial than the greatly lowering attack and defense that Tien does, right? I think it makes uh, Gohan more sustainable in difficult events, right? I could easily get away with bringing 50% Gohan into, like, the God event and stuff like that. Uh, Tien, I I'm not so sure about that. Um, okay. Okay. I'm pretty satisfied with Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Let's hop right back into the GT Legendary Goku event with a team built now for the Int Super Saiyan 2. All right, so here we are with our boy Int Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Uh, not going to be looking too good with orbs right here. This is not great. Um, all right. And this is going to be kind of a weak rotation, I think. His defense should be pretty good. Yeah, again, because of the way uh, the Int Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is working... Uh, where he gets a 58% defense on super attack. His defense, most of the time... Oh, my God, that's, that's, real, that's really bad. <laughs> most of the time, uh, Gohan's defense is going to be better than the tech one, right? I mean, because it's like... What, what is this? I got an hour-long video, and we didn't get the triple super attack once with tech Gohan? I mean, typically, what's happening is Gohan... Both Gohans are, like, one-shotting these bosses, right? Which is keeping you from potentially getting the double and triple super attack so maybe tech gohan um he will continue to look better as like maybe like more difficulty events come out and stuff like that um but one thing i will say is i really do feel much better about that tech super saiyan 2 gohan like really looking at it with the introduction of that lr goku and piccolo because like you know you could say like spirit bombs or goku is like maybe like the best friend for like yeah, i mean both gohans honestly but I mean, Spirit Bomb Goku's a little bit squishy, man. In some of these difficult modes and content, like content and shit like that, he's not exactly uh, as good defensively as many of these other units I'm using. So, like, I'm definitely feel more comfortable using that Goku and Piccolo than I would, like, you know, Spirit Bomb Resorb Goku, right? To activate the the movie hero Goku like portion of that Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, because that's the shit that really sends him like to unbelievable levels is once you start getting those movie hero goku like passive buff for super saiyan 2 gohan the tech one and then his active skill right like that's where shit gets just nuts so um all right this god damn i actually uh, th th this is an issue oh my god dude gohan's defense is so 
His defense is so crazy here. The only thing is orbs. Like, we're not going to get as many orbs. We're getting unluckier with orbs. Oh, no, seven is fine. Seven is good, a good number. Okay. Um, but, yeah, dude, his defense is like 300k or something like that after he supers. Uh, both, of these, both of these Gohans are looking impressive to me. Um, I would... Where would I put them? I don't know, because, again, I, like, I'm going to do a top 10 unit in the game list after this. Typically, I don't like mixing summonable LRs and TURs and EZAs and all that shit into one list, but I'm going to try and do it. I just got to sit down for a while and really think about it. Uh, and that's not the greatest. That's only one support type unit. Um, I mean, whatever. We'll... We'll... we'll uh, Y'all could judge, right? Like, this has been a huge-ass long video... Uh, I tried to get as many situations, a lot of numbers. Uh, maybe I'm using a lot of the same units, but I mean, a lot of these characters are like the good supports and stuff like that. Um, on this next turn, though, uh, this is where I really want to see what Gohan's capable of doing. Um, here, let me do this. Because on this next turn, we're going to have a lot of support, right? We're going to have the 50% support Gohan, and we're going to have the trunks in Goten. Uh, and we could potentially see the damage, so... Yeah, let me know what you guys think about both of these two Super Saiyan 2 Gohans. I definitely would say I have both of them, like, top 20-ish. I don't know. Like, I, I, I feel so that maybe both of these Super Saiyan 2 Gohans are more so around, like, number 15, if anything, I'm thinking. Because, like, if you really start mixing these TURs in, it's like, I look at the performance of, like, GT, Goku, and Vegeta, and it's like, yeah, you gotta put them, I feel like, above the, the Gohans, right? Because the Rainbow Orb changing the defense and offense and good link set and good leader skills that, like, GT, Goku, and Vegeta have, it's just, they're the com they're, they're actually a complete package. They're so crazy. Um, okay, so we'll do this. Not get well, six orbs is good. I think it's gonna be a little bit more than that, actually. Seven is fine. Seven, seven is a good number right here. Okay, so that I mean, this is a strong rotation for Gohan. Uh, Gaze of respect, prepare for battle, and fierce battle are active. I mean, we have a common shit like Super Saiyan Kamehameha not active right here. But I mean, this is this is a good turn to end things with right here. So again, let me know what you guys think of the two Super Saiyan two Gohans. I think a lot of the time the performance you're gonna see from them is gonna be very similar, right? Um. I think Int Gohan defensively is going to be more impressive most of the time. Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan will get better defense when he triples super attacks, which will happen every once in a while. Um, their damage numbers seem rather close to me besides when Gohan is able to get his active skill and that movie hero Goku buff, right? Um, but Tech Gohan definitely does have a higher ceiling. At the end of the video, I, I would say Tech Gohan is better, um, but it's because of the, like, the super high ceiling with that movie hero Goku shit, right? Like, Int Gohan just does not... He doesn't have a 20 million attack set in his back pocket the way the Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan does right there. So you, you have to put the Tech one uh, in front. But, I again, I would say throughout the most of content, like the majority of content, like normal Super Battle Road stages, Battlefield, stuff like that, you're going to see a very similar level of performance from them. Um, I do think that Int Gohan could have been made a little bit better from his EZA. He's good, but they definitely could have made him better. So, let me know what you guys think of Tech LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan versus Int LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.